Today I'm here with an organ, and as you can see, it's a bit unusual. So let's uh, open this up and talk about it. I first wanted to mention that the little hinges here, I just noticed, are made of like a rose kind of colored metal, like you'd see on like an iPhone. It's kind of a neat detail. It's, uh, I like that color pink. It's kind of cool. So if we open this up, it's a very nice feeling fallboard. We can see that we have a very unusual organ indeed. This is a Yamaha Electone FX20. Oddly enough, they took the logo and they hid it way under here, and it's super tiny, so you're really out to hunt for it. But it's called the FX20, and it was made by... I believe Yamaha and uh, it's just kind of an interesting organ I don't know the exact uh, year when it was made but based on just the aesthetic and the technology level I'd say late 90s early 2000s that's my estimate for when this was made correct me if I'm wrong I really I've never seen one of those I've never heard one of these before until today and I was like I have to make a video on it now earlier I was playing with it off camera and I was getting really frustrated because this thing is overwhelming as heck when you first sit down and you're like, okay, how do I make it do things? I had, to, I had no idea. I even looked in the instruction manual and I couldn't figure it out. But then I come back a bit later and I actually have, I've made it to do its thing now. So hopefully we can get a little demonstration of it. I'm not really going to play anything particular on it, but I'll just show you some of the sounds and show you some of the cool things it does. So first off, let's start off with some of the basics. We have a couple interesting things. We've got an expression pedal meter. So right now I'm moving the expression pedal from min to max and nothing's happening. If I push this, we can see the expression pedal. Now, I don't know why you'd want this, but it's kind of cool. We can also make it brighter if you want. So there you go. I'm moving the expression pedal and it's following with me. It's very accurate too, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can turn that off if you wish or leave it on. We've got lights. So if you look up here, you'll see lights and you can make those brighter as well. On Whoops, wrong button. You can make them brighter too, which is cool. Lights are always nice. On some organs, there's lights up here. This one doesn't seem to. Kind of a shame. And then as you can see, we have a massive amount of buttons and you can probably already tell why I was so confused. Basically, we've got upper keyboard, we have lower keyboard, and as you look at the keyboard, you'll see that there's three. So this is what the, it classifies as the upper, and this is what it classifies as the lower. But what's this? I don't know what, what it classifies this as, and I don't know how to change the sound for it. It's not the custom voices, it's not this. I don't know what it is, so we're just gonna have to stick with the solo trumpet that it's got. It's monophonic, so it only plays one note at a time. So as you can see, the keys are really stubby. They're really tiny. They're like, they're literally almost half the length of the other keys, which is kind of funny. So that's the third manual, but we're not going to mention it much because I don't know how to make it change sounds. But we've got a lower, an upper manual here. I keep calling it the lower because this should be the top, and then this should be the middle. This should be the lower. But we've got an upper here, and then we've got a lower here. And there's all kinds of different sounds you can do. If you look up here, we've got orchestra and presets, and then also for the lower orchestra and presets, and also a combination thing. I'll talk about that in a bit later. It's pretty cool. So we've got... Uh, if we activate the orchestra by hitting this button and we disable the special presets by hitting the red button, we've got strings, strings two, strings three, four, brass. You can hear the sounds are kind of cheesy, which is also why I think this is not a new model of organ, because on a new model, even like a Roland AT90S, there happens to be one right over there. Like I have, the sounds are much better than this. I'm not really knocking the organ. I wonder what spice is. That's odd. Why do they call... So it's a church organ, but they call it Spice. Can anyone explain that? I don't know why they call it Spice. I'm not sure what that's... I guess an organ. That is unusual. I hadn't found that before. That's odd. So I'm just saying that uh, the quality of the sounds here can kind of help identify in a way when this organ was made. So if we go to special, we've got piano, harpsichord, celesta, which honestly sounds nothing like a Celesta, but hey. Vibraphone, which is one of my personal favorites. That actually sounds very nice, and I like that. We've got marimba, which is kind of cool, because you can... Do that. We've got mandolin, which is a similar thing. If you play three notes, I don't know what it does. Oh, it does all three kind of, like... It's kind of cool. Banjo, which sounds a bit like a sitar. Jazz guitar. Brass. This, and then also cosmic, which is a bit like the vibraphone without the vibrato. So I'm not gonna go through every single sound, I just wanted to give you an idea of the quality of the sounds on this instrument. They're not the best, but this is an older instrument, and I just thought you might find it kinda cool. One thing I wanted to mention about this, and it's very weird, is that if you want to, say, increase the sound of your harpsichord. Well, I can't, because it's maxed out. 
but it's at the bottom. So if I take the harpsichord, which it should still be on, oh, that's lower keyboard, so let me, we're good. Okay, lower keyboard, that's as loud as I can make it. I can make it quieter by moving the, the knob up, but moving it down brings it up. And that's kind of weird, and I thought I'd mention that because it's a really weird thing they did. If this should be minimum, that should be maximum. But for some reason they decided to make uh, the minimum be the upper position on the little uh, knob there, which is kind of odd. And it's the same thing here if you look at the reverb. Um, the reverb switch here, it's almost maxed out, even though it's at the bottom. So that's a very odd thing that they did on this organ, and I thought I'd point it out. Now let's talk about probably one of the coolest things about this organ, and that would be its secret draw bars. Now you look, you don't see any draw bars, but if we pull back, I think James Bond engineered this, because this, this is really crazy. So I mentioned earlier the combination thing. And basically what you can do is you can turn on the combination and that turns on the combination thing, there's presets, I don't really know how all those work, but that brings in your church organ. So first of all you've got percussion, so this is length, I should have recognized that. We've got percussion basically is what this is. Different harmonics of percussion and then these are your draw bars. So I'm going to turn these down so you can really hear the uh, draw bars. That's loud. where the draw bars are hidden on this organ and it's kind of cool. You can see it's not like a Hammond organ sound, it's more of a church traditional organ sound. It actually sounds kind of good. Again, it kind of sounds cheesy, you wouldn't be fooled into thinking it's a real pipe organ, but it has its own kind of cool qualities to it. And you have the same thing down here for the lower, so if I activate the combination for the lower, that's the harpsichord, let's get that off. You can see we've got length, which is, I was curious, you wondering what length is. It's the length of time the percussion rings for. Hear that? If I turn length down, it's a bit shorter. So you've got two different percussion settings and then also all the draw bars as well. So let me minimize those. I like to hear all the draws coming out, it's kind of cool. And then this is for the pedals. I'm not 100% sure how to activate those on there, but let's see if they're doing anything. They're not. We've got some kind of a bass sound in here as well. We've got a full 25 um, foot pedal, it looks like, down there, which is kind of cool. But I can't make the pedals go into organ sound, but that's okay, you get the idea. I just thought that this idea is so odd and so quirky and so weird that I had to show it. I was sitting here looking at the organ earlier, trying to figure out Okay, how do I make it work? And I'm sitting there stumped because I was so overwhelmed by everything. And I'm like, what's, what are the lines here? And so I pull it out, I'm like, oh my gosh, look at that. And I have to say, it has a really nice feel to it, pulling it in and out. It's not like some weird afterthought they tacked on. It's like, this is gonna be part of the organ and it's gonna feel satisfying every time the player pulls it in and out. It's really nice and it's very unusual. Unfortunately, you wouldn't really be able to activate them while, I mean you could, but they're so small and they're, they have a really substantial feel to them. They actually feel quite high quality, but they have such a substantial feel they wouldn't realize, like, oh I'm going to activate all these and change them mid playing like you can with a Hammond organ, it just wouldn't be as easy. They're way down here on a Hammond organ, the draw bars are like right here where these keys are, so you can easily just tweak them while you're playing, but on this not so much. I just thought this was a super cool idea, and this alone would have made me do a video on the organ, even if I couldn't do anything with the organ. So I'm going to give you a little quick demonstration here of the vibraphone sound because it's my favorite on the organ. And uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. It's an unusual organ. Like I said, if you know anything about it, let me know. I believe it was made by Yamaha. It's the Electone FX20. Let me know when it was made or if you've had one or any experiences you've had with it. I like to hear this kind of story. So let's just give you a little sound demonstration on the vibraphone sound. <laughs> should be a bass though. That's pedals. I don't know, there should be a bass sound here for the lower manual, but it doesn't look like there is. Uh, I don't know, I was gonna do a bass, but I can't, so let's get rid of that and just go back to this. Sorry! That vibraphone sound is honestly my favorite, I just like how... It actually sounds pretty good. 
So anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this video of the Electon. Uh, it's very unusual and very strange. If you want to uh, go check out my channel, I've got lots of cool uh, content on there. And uh, I've got a video on a Roland 1890S that I've reviewed as well, and uh, it's pretty cool. And also, if you want to know where I found this organ, in case you want to come see it for yourself, the information for this tour will be down in the comment section below. One additional thing about the organ, there's a knee lever down here. I don't know what it does or how to make it do anything, but I just remembered that that's there. And so I assume that when you've got your foot here in the compression pedal, you can just move your leg over to the side. I think that's how it works. It doesn't feel like it's clicking anything, but there's a knee lever. If, if you guys know what that does, please let me know. I, I don't know how to make it do anything. But hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Uh, this is my favorite part of the whole thing. I really like that. It's really cool. So you can go check out my channel if you enjoyed it. You might want to think about subscribing. And if you do that, thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Wait, what? The lights? The, the lights are still on. So I... Wait a minute. You can have the lights on. You, you can have the lights on even though the rest of the organ is off and it's like a night light. That is cool. I like that. That is a neat little feature. So I guess if you had one of these, you could put it in your room and just have it there. Wouldn't have to have it be on, but you could just turn the panel lights on and just be a night light. That's a cool feature. I like that. All right. That's cool. I like that one. <laughs>